Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are going to do a little wig review, so stay tuned. Let's just make it all. Let me take it okay, so here is the tore up box. Be forever. Um, it looks like the FedEx driver had a rough time or the journey was a rough one because it's looking a little battered and bruised, but that's okay. So let's open it and see what we have inside. Okay, so let's, <sighs> honestly, my hair is flourishing right now. I just got it trim the other day and it's just looking so nice, so full since you know postpartum and a little bit of shedding has happened i've just been leaving it alone i've been doing my regular hair care routines and just really like trying to wear it in protective styles as well as being too tired to really do much with my hair i decided let's go back into the headband wigs because i saw it lying in my room one day and i'm like you know i'm gonna tie a lace i love listen don't get me wrong i love my wigs but I'm tired and the lace ain't helping the situation going on. So headband wigs, I'm here to do that. We're trying to grow our edges back this year. So this is what we're gonna do. Um, as far as this goes, we have our bag with a, oh, hold on a minute. We have our, edge band or what we use to lay the wigs blend that lace and then of course our wig cap the next we have our lashes these are thick i don't wear dramatic lashes like that i like my i'm a wispy girl i like mine nice and wispy like in between natural and dramatic and then our brush all right now let's get into this wig so here we have it I got I got a 18 inch 18 inch jerry curl wig it's looking like it has some length to it um the other two headband wigs that I have are body wave ones, and those ones were purchased from Reshine, which is also another good hair company. But Beauty Forever is one of my faves right now. They gave me a headband. Not loving it, but we'll 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 do a little something with it. So this is what it looks like out the box the curls are really giving jerry curl it's really nice and soft um just a little bit of shedding not too much it's about as much shedding as i got out of it i'm pulling or um combing my fingers through it but so far like it's not too much shedding i'm getting little snags but it's nice very, very, very nice. So let's do our prep first.
my storage <laughs> but here we are here's what it's looking like and for non-perfect braids because i mean like it's a headband wig so you know but unless you want it to lay super flat like if you have a straight wig then i would suggest making sure they're a bit like neater just so as long as they're flat they're okay but this is curly so it's kind of like they don't really matter so i'm going to use a braiding jam to bring all this back and make it look nice and tidy and for that i'm going to be using capped inspired hair braiding jam easy grip gel this is so good and it smells really good too all of her products are phenomenal and also they smell really great if you're into hair products that have nice scents this is definitely one of them so let's get into this to mention it has one of these that you can scoop the gel out and pretty cool right you just use it to like basically just like push it all back like that I also have a magnetic like wristband or gel holder from her as well. So I just scoop that and I'll place it instead of putting it on my wrist. And it's such a lifesaver because over time the product does um, or gels period do tend to make my skin start to feel a little irritated. So like that's perfect for me. So I'm just gonna smooth all of this back. Does anybody else have a beauty mark right on their hairline? Like I literally have. Just this random beauty mark just right there in my hairline. It's so funny to me. It's like so random, literally so random. And it's just, it moves so smoothly into the hairline so you don't even gotta be putting too much force in there so nice and smooth i feel like being a little you know today so i'm gonna do some edges now uh, sometimes i really would just slick it back and leave it but first of all it's not going nowhere just going to I'm trying to decide if I want to do like the two swoops and leave it as is or do two and then down here. Honestly, I just, when I first started doing them, they did not look cute. They did not look cute at all. Like the swoops weren't swooping and just all this stuff. But then like I used to practice trying to do them all the time. I watched tutorials on how girls did different things. But then like over time I just realized that it all depends on like your hair. And the more you practice, the more you'll learn what direction they just like to lay and like it will train that way as well and then eventually with more practice you'll get it and you'll learn how to do it exactly the way that you like it i'm gonna leave this part who knows we will change our mind later but for now i'm just gonna leave it okay now for the part we're all waiting for and the point of this video is the wig <laughs> this wonderful 18 inch jerry curl wig me for extra security what i like to do is i take these in the back i unhook them and then when i put them on i'll hook them together that's what i like to do for extra security 
but it's up to you. I don't have a big head, so bringing it closer together helps me. Use the comb and comb it under. It's cute. I don't usually do tight curls like this, but I'm like, why not? I'm gonna put in the combs. Secure it. Not too far up to the hairline because we don't want to put the hair out here. Clip this up real quick. And tie this to the back. This one seems to be longer, which is great for me because now I don't have to be bobby pinning, pinning it up. I lied, it's not Velcro, it's the same material. So this is what it looks like unbrushed, uncombed, whatever you want to call it, and I think it's cute. I'm just gonna finger, finger comb it a little bit so I don't wanna, I don't wanna um, manipulate it too too much where it's like huge but as is like this i'm definitely definitely loving it it's very soft again very nice and soft i'm gonna pull this part back show off the edges and i like it pull it over to the side looks like in the back but it's not too long which is nice comb it out just a bit easy to comb very nice definitely easy to comb and no, this, no it's definitely bigger honestly like I decided to get the jerry curl wig because like body wave is nice and all but like everyday wear is kind of just getting like bored you know because once like body wave is like a day or two old it's just black right so I'm like I want to wear something that's you know closer to my natural hair so like getting like a jerry curl or like even a kinky curl, I just feel like would feel like a better everyday wear type of thing. If you know what I'm trying to get at, you know, nothing wrong with body wave, obviously. Nothing wrong with straight either, obviously. But for me, like I like doing like the curly up dues. Like I like stuff like that. And I want to be able to do that without manipulating my hair too much. So that's why i decided to go with a jerry curl um hair so <laughs> my daughter just woke up <laughs> hi baby big smile on her face yeah, so let's try it with the headband that we got so i got two headbands here i got this one that's the from beauty forever and then I have one that I had got from another headband wig I had bought a while back that I really like. It's like a crisscross thing going on. And I'm going to the mall with my friend right after this. So I'm probably going to see if I can get like another nice cute little headband. It's really soft material. I can say that. Very soft. So I know that like... Even on my edges, it won't be too much. Try 
trying to figure out how I'm gonna wear it like this. This is a nice, cute, little yellow headband. If I just took some hair up here and did a little like half up, half down action. Very cute. I really just love how soft this hair is right now. Super, super soft. Okay, let's try it with this other headband that I have. I'm always like <laughs> getting this like twist it up and mixed up and confuse but we're gonna we're gonna make it work today crisscross I like the whole crisscross type of action I guess yeah let's see how it looks in a ponytail okay there we go very cute i like it 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 and i know me like i'm a bun girl so i love a nice a nice full curly bun I'm just gonna take another elastic band and kind of like bun it up. It's a nice curly, like kind of messy bun. Play around with it and see how it looks. I think it looks cute. I think it looks super cute. And then one more style that I had in mind is the claw clip. Claw clip. So I'm gonna take this section off of this and wrap it upwards and I'm gonna clip further down here and just let the rest of it just fall. And then even if you want, you can, um, you can even put it up in a ponytail if you wanted to. Put it up in one. Secured and just like move it around like this. Nothing too hard or serious. Just a cute little, cute little pineapple up to kind of thing. I don't like to have it too close to my face, but yeah. That's basically some of the different styles that you can 
do with this jerry curl wig and then of course if you want to you don't have to wear a headband with that at all you can just leave it just like this if you want to just just like this but yeah i hope you enjoyed this little review tutorial about this jerry girl wig i hope you enjoyed the video and you know i'm gonna leave the link in the description box below for this wig i hope you enjoyed the video today and as always i will catch you in the next one bye thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like and comment i'll see you in the next one